Texas, so you decided to visit Kansas City this weekend. Many of you all may not know that Kansas City is one of the meccas of jazz. That's a lovely statue of Charlie Parker, a.k.a. Birdman. The original Birdman. Yeah, not this Birdman. Or this Birdman. This Birdman. Yes, Charlie Parker was born on the Kansas City, Kansas side and raised in the Kansas City, Missouri side. Yes, there are two Kansas cities, Kansas City, Kansas, and Kansas City, Missouri. So when you hear us say KCK, we're talking about Kansas City, Kansas. When you hear us say KC Mo, Kansas City, Missouri. So we're gonna go over my top five jazz spots. After I went over my top five barbecue spots, I figure I'll go over my top five jazz spots, but in no particular order. So first we have the Blue Room, this is over in the historic 18th and Vine District. This is where many of the jazz greats used to go to play. Uh, Charlie Parker, John Coltrane, Miles Davis, they all came down here. The American Jazz Museum is down here and also the Negro League Baseball Museum. There you go, 4.6 rating, 1600 East 18th Street. They don't serve food here, I believe. It's been a while since I've been there, but it's mainly, yeah, all cocktails, no food. Now, in the same area, you have the Mutual Musician Foundation. This is a very historic building. This is where, actually, the originals used to perform in this building. It's 1917, just before the Great Depression. That's when it was founded. They also, during the week, they do music lessons for young folks. And I believe they also give away instruments. But I know, I know they do give music lessons during the week. Now, this place, you can only go to it to see live music. This is like the after hour spot. This is where a lot of the musicians in the area go to perform after they do their sets at the other local jazz clubs. You can't get there until, it doesn't open until 1.30 in the morning on Fridays and Saturdays only. It's open until 5 a.m. Now, there's some wild stuff that can go down there, but uh, overall it's a good time. It's safe. There's security out front and there's only cocktails and um, alcohol only served at this particular uh, establishment. Next we have the Majestic. They serve delicious food here and it's a steakhouse. Can't go wrong here. The music is great. Food is great. Next we have the Phoenix. It's right around the corner from the Majestic. You can walk there technically. Uh, you ladies with the tall high heels, stilettos, that I wouldn't recommend walking. But uh, unless you got a big strong man to carry you. Uh, anyway, they also have food here, but it's more like bar type food, a little not as upscale as the Majestic, still good food. Um, and the music here is jazz slash there's a lot of uh, live singing, more live singing here uh, instead of like just the more instrumental jazz that you're going to get at the Majestic. Green Lady. When I've been there, I've never heard anyone sing. It's all like straight instrumental jazz. This is more of like the, I like to call this one more of the touristy jazz lounge because all the Uber drivers tell their riders to go here. So almost all the tourists go to the Green Lady and it's one of the most iconic or well-known jazz lounges here in Kansas City. Now, I will warn you, all right, before that, there is only, there's no food here other than like a shark, these like charcuterie uh, boards. I think I said that right. Charcuterie and wine. It's like a cocktail lounge. And there's an upstairs and there's a downstairs. The downstairs, I believe, is only open on like Fridays and Saturday nights. Um, and I believe it is open till three. All these places are open till three. Y'all can go double check that 3 a.m. But why y'all out at 3 a.m. in the morning anyway? But yeah, uh, you can double check the hours on Google. But uh, yeah, I've been here multiple times. It's a good spot. Now, I warn you, there's a Sinclair gas station across the street. Enter there at your own risk. That's all I'm going to say. Overall, Kansas City's downtown is pretty safe as long as you stay west of Troost and don't go on Prospect, a.k.a. Suspect. Um, 18th and Mine District is pretty safe. But, yeah, that Sinclair gas station, like I said, enter at your own risk. Charcuterie. Anyway. There is a uh, place called the Black Dolphin right next door to the Green Lady. I know I said I was going to do the top five jazz spots in Kansas City, but this is turning into more than five. I apologize. Hey, more fun. 
Next, we have Stock Hill Grill. Very good food here. It's very bougie. Stick your pinky in the air. Great, awesome food. It's a steakhouse. Um, wine, cocktails, all that is available as well. And they usually have very good... Either they'll have like a jazz singer or a good live uh, performer, trumpet player, saxophonist. And I'll throw one more in there for those of you all that like blues, knuckleheads. Now, it's a little tricky getting over there. There's like a train that runs right between there and Jay Rieger, Riger, how you say it, across the street. Rieger. Um, yeah, there you go. Enjoy yourselves here in Kansas City and be safe. And uh, if you have any other suggestions, drop it below in the comments. <laughs>